Hello, fancy seeing you here. Anyway, welcome back. Um, it's the first video I've done in a while. Just had stuff to do, trying to pay the bills, keep up with all the work. Um, yeah, anyone who's been following this MG. Uh, the last video was the old man welding the quarter panel up. That's all the coral pour glue that we put up inside it is all dried nice and hard now. That ain't coming off ever. Um, started chucking some filler on it yesterday. I've got a couple of weeks on it now. Got most of the panels in primer. Have a look. Bonnet tailgate wings. Uh, this front panel bumper behind the bumper, whatever that is. And we've got around here doors and the little bracket for the radiator and them. But yeah, just to show you a bit of the old man's world. I've covered a bit of it up already. Because I'm a bit useless at doing these videos. Of, um, this is a like a runny fibre fill, but it goes nice and hard, and it sinks down into all the gaps. I'm just putting that over the welds. Um, this was just left over some job I was doing yesterday, so I just chucked that in it quickly. It's that colour because it's the, the dust off of this when I was rubbing this down. We've had to bare metal more than I was hoping to. A lot of it was just flaking off so there's no point doing it unless it's rubbed down. Uh, what else? I've... You can't see it, I ain't got a torch on me but I've stone chipped and sealed that arch that we've done. Um, this is the edge of where the old man done his welding. He's cut out the old Franken patch that the last bloke had done. We're just going to smooth that in with that green fibre fill and then a different filler over the top. He, he didn't want to disturb all his old work that he put into this corner that he made. So he cut the quarter panel off here just blended it in but it's solid so it ain't going anywhere that's where he's gone up there he couldn't weld up the top because someone's brazed it or whatever that is um, but yeah a little dent there, a little war scar um, Look at all them layers. Uh, how many times have we been painted? One, two, three. What's this going to be the full free spray on it? We're probably going to have to bare metal most of this because it's blistered along it. I don't really want to get involved with this sealer. If we do, we do. Um, yeah, and it's doing the same around here, just moving in the welds. That's about where we're at. Other work wise, we've got a couple of panels for a Triumph Spitfire, is it? A place that Alan's brother works at, HX Motors. Uh, tailgate and a bonnet to do on it, fucking great bonnet. We've got to try and match a colour, otherwise, blending it is pretty much a repaint anyway. So we've got a door here to match, I've got a couple of spray outs to do, and that's about us. I'll try and recall what I can without it being too boring. Peace.
trees where we're at at the minute. Um, start doing smaller videos because pretty boring the fuck out of people and it's stressful to edit all the big videos. So, mate, right, it's a little one. Um, filler wires. Just trying to line these back lights up a bit more. Hold on. Turn this fucking down. Ding, ding, ding. I always forget to turn the music down and I can't use epoxy videos. Yeah, we've got the old ice in around it. Smoothed all the welds in. Just trying to line this backlight up, but it is a right pain in the ass. Um, it's, it's the same both sides of both lights. I don't know if this is and quarters but they don't line up with the light 100% but we'll do the best we can with it try and blend them in taking the metal back here got to treat this with some rush treatment we got cut a little dents uh, we're not going to bare metal in here this doesn't look that bad but we'll rub it all back and feather it out this is going back to bare metal going to bare metal all the back of it See what's going on behind that. Alan's doing it exactly the same way this side. He's a bit further on. He's got more beans than I have. This is all smoothed in. I'll probably have one. It'll be the last skim on the outside, but it'll probably have one more in here. I was starting to lose my rag with that. A little bit there. And it gets all covered up with a wing. Scuttle. Probably have a bit more out of that. Yeah, shell's nearly ready for the primer. Alright, cheers for... Cheers for watching. Dust. Um, I probably won't do another one, another video till we put it in the booth for primer. Just rubbing it down and blocking filler is just boring. Oh yeah. Filler work. Bad. Boring. Yeah. Very. No. At your age, at my age. She's in. The MG's in the booth for the first time. Uh, in for primer. I will be, or we will be. Uh, giving it a couple of coats of epoxy primer, HP body 989 I think it is, letting that dry. It is now Friday evening, now it's in, I'm going home, Alan's already cleared off. Um, tomorrow morning we're going to get it masked up, cut the coats of epoxy on it, let it dry till Monday, um, we're going to block it, and then two pack prime it and then everything will be primed uh, the panels are all in primer ready to block and whatever probably going to block it or prep it or at least with 320 red scotch uh, it will be getting one or two coats of wet on wet or sealer for the Americans um, just, just so I haven't got to prep it so fine, just to save a bit of time. But she's in. Have a little walk around it. We've stone chip blacked the rest of the engine bay, so that matches the old bit. Covered up some seams. Stripped all this front or slam panel, whatever you call it. 
skulls ready, seals, loads of filler. This is a side that old matey put on, we didn't put this one on. I stripped it back as much as I can without getting the paint stripper out. These back corners were a challenge that we got there and we put the little little line in it that's meant to be there. So we built all them up, a few repairs on the back. Um, this has got putty in this one, I haven't bothered the other one because the pinholes ain't as bad. But this is the one we put on. Didn't need anywhere near as much filler. Still a little bit of a little bit of a warp from the welding. Need up the weld underneath. This is full of this is mainly to cover up those little little dents all the way. Well, I don't know if dents or little creases are meant to be there, but that's nice and smooth now. Smoothed it all in. So hopefully, well, tomorrow morning, next bit of the video, I'm not going home until it's epoxy primed. So I think that scared Alan a bit, so he might be driving so he can clear off when he wants. But yeah, I'll see you in the morning.